Hi, this is Brian Hegney. I'm an instructor of communication at High Point University. Today, I want to talk about a couple simple things. The simple thing we're going to talk about right now is saving images from Google. Let's say you want to create a folder of cats, a folder of cat images. Well, I'm going to Google uh, kittens. And of course, I'm going to click on the word images at the top because I want to search for images of kittens. Now, some of these images are fine. Some are really small. So this picture right here is 450 pixels by 240 pixels. Um, I want high, let's say I want high res images. Well, that's not going to cut it. 230 by 345, not going to cut it. So I want to point out a nice little thing here. Under Tools, I can restrict the size oops, to a large size, just like I can restrict um, for reuse. So let's change Labeled for Reuse, and we can find all sorts of images of large, large images of kittens that I can reuse. Um, now let's talk about a, a different thing, because you've set it up to search for high-res images. What you don't want to do is download a low-resolution image. So I'm going to, for instance, look at this picture here of all these little kittens. Now, I'm going to download this in two different ways. Number one, I'm just going to left-click and drag. Oops, and drag it over here to the left. Okay, see that right there? The next thing I'm going to do is click it in the Google interface, and I'm going to drag this picture over to the right. Okay. Now they're both on my desktop. They're actually both, look at, they're actually both labeled something slightly different. Because the images you see here on Google are previews. Now once you click it, Google will show you the image here. That's great. Now I want to point out the big difference. Okay, I am going to control click each one and say get info. And the info I want you to focus on are the dimensions under more info here. You see we can just get all sorts of different metadata, right? Open with blah blah blah. Let's look at more info. It shows you the dimensions. I'm going to control click this one and say get info and move this over here so you know that's what it's associated with and look at the more info there. One of these, the one we dragged from the quick preview, is tiny. It's 300 pixels wide. Whereas the one we dragged from, you know, the, the, the bigger window here is 2400. That's almost 10 times as large as this one. So don't be a fool and download these tiny little windows. Download the large images. Okay, now that you know that, gosh, I am going to continue and I'm just gonna just keep dragging a few things here. Um, I want some large images. I'm just gonna get one more, one more large image of kittens. There we go. And I've got, now I'm going to put this away. Now I have four images here. And I want to be a little bit precise, so, or at least I want to be organized. So what I'm going to do is control click in my desktop anywhere, and I'm going to say new folder. And I'm going to call this Brian's Kittens. And I'm going to select, make a selection of my kitty images and left click, add them to this folder. And now I have, I'm going to X this out. And now I have a folder called Brian's Kittens. And this folder contains all of my kittens. And I can drag this onto a jump drive if I want to um, or something else, which I'll talk about in the next video. Hope you had fun learning about downloading images from Google.